During his weekly press conference, opposition leader Aubrey Norton has revealed that his party on Wednesday filed a court action seeking to postpone the June 12, 2023 local government elections. This comes on the heels of numerous reports of fraud by the People's Progressive Party Civic, PPPC, whereby forged signatures were found on their candidate list for the upcoming election. Norton on Thursday claimed that the Ghana Elections Commission, GCOM, seems not to be interested in the law, but instead is kowtowing to the political direction of the ruling party. We have we filed yesterday a court action seeking to either postpone or stop the local government elections. As far as I gather from the lawyers, we have a 28 May fixed date, date fixed for hearing on this matter. The opposition leader said there are other pending legal actions that the party intends to take, adding that it will continue to file legal actions until the matter is settled. He added that the party anticipated that if the matter was not reported to the police, GCOM would have directed them to do such. We informed the Elections Commission. We are continuing to protest their actions and we will take legal action on all aspects of these irregularities. Asked whether he contacted GCOM Chair Justice Retired Claudette Singh, as any decision made by the Secretariat will directly impact the party, Norton had this to say. We have basically dealt with this matter through our commissioners, which is the correct thing to do. We don't see much benefit in engaging the chairman of GCOM. The Partnership for National Unity has been hosting protest action in front of GCOM, calling for a clean voters list, noting that the current one is riddled with fraud. The Alliance for Change, a minority party formerly of the opposition coalition, backed out of the local government elections and will not participate in the elections until the official list of electors is purged of contaminants and fraud. Renata Burnett reporting for the HGP Nightly News.